So this week, the El Dorado County Elections Office accepted a South Lake Tahoe vacancy tax measure for the 2024 election. Good evening, I'm Ryan Cannon. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us at 530. The grassroots group Locals for Affordable Housing says a vacancy tax would help incentivize affordable housing in South Lake Tahoe. Josh Menning joins us now live from South Lake. And Josh, what happens next? Yeah, guys, so what happens next is that they're all campaigning because the measure is going to be on the November 5th ballot. So that vacancy tax question will be put before the voters now from now until then each side is going to have to make their case. The problem is dire. Locals for Affordable Housing says that right now nearly half of the homes in South Lake Tahoe sit vacant for more than half the year. That's over 7,000 homes while our workforce is really struggling to find housing. We're struggling to keep teachers and professionals and to continue to run our tourist economy. The South Lake Tahoe vacancy tax would place an annual fee on properties that sit vacant for more than half the year. It would be a $3,000 fee the first year and then $6,000 thereafter. We can incentivize more occupancy of the housing that we already have while also generating funds to um, build more affordable housing, repair our roads and improve our transit. In response to the South Lake Tahoe vacancy tax measure now officially on the ballot, an opposition group has formed to defeat the measure. It's a coalition of small businesses, taxpayers, local residents, businesses of all sizes actually, who believe this is the wrong way to try to solve what the uh, proponents are claiming is a solution to affordable housing. The Stop South Lake Tahoe Vacancy Tax Group contends that nothing in the language of the measure requires the city to produce a single new unit of affordable housing. A lot of the money we believe if this passes would be spent on setting up the tremendous bureaucracy needed to try to figure out whose house is vacant and how to enforce the measure and also the legal defense of the measure, which it will be litigated. However, Locals for Affordable Housing says that argument is a misnomer. The funds from the vacancy tax can only be spent on housing, roads and transit, three of our community's most critical issues. Um, right now, there is widespread support for building more affordable housing and solving the housing crisis. That is what the funds will be used for in addition to solving the other community problems that we have. Now the opposition group points out that many of the homeowners who would get the tax should the measure pass are don't live here and they're not registered to vote so they won't be able to participate in that vote. Covering Money Watch live in South Lake Tahoe, Josh Penny, 2 News Nevada.